Ooh, what are we ripping it out? Ew. You got an eyeball! Ooh. Bye. Hey everyone! This is Grave Cinema here again, bringing you a special reaction video for this St. Patrick's holiday. Ooh. Can you guess what we're doing? I know what I'm doing. You're not wearing green! I don't give a shit. It's fine, I just get to pinch you. <laughs> Maybe I did it on purpose so you could pinch me. Pinch. No, it's because we were planning on doing another video, but she's like, I gotta do something later, so I'm like, well this one's not gonna be long, so. This will work out. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. It's already... Oh, shit. Okay. Don't worry. We'll get through this. It's fine. Okay. What we're going to be doing, of course, is... Leprechaun. Leprechaun. I got a nice little steelbook collection of, uh, like, all the movies with Warwick Davis. So, we'll be doing the very first one, the OG. The one that started it all. What do you know about it? I know there's a tree that the leprechaun lives in. And that there's a final girl. Yes, there is. Do you know who that is? Mm, it's been too long. You'll recognize her once you see her. Um, I know he looks really creepy. Okay, yeah. Uh, he has red hair. He has a very pale face. Really? The Irish leprechaun has red hair and a pale face? Listen, I never would have thought. I have seen leprechauns that did not have red hair before. Oh, freaks. This thing. And to be fair, the red hair is not fucking Irish. It's German. That was brought over by the Vikings. It's European. It's not Irish, though. Everybody attributes it to the Irish. It was actually more found in Germany. Yes, but there are a lot of Irish redheads. Are there not? There are. I'm not saying not a lot of Irish Vikings. I mean, redheaded Vikings that settled in Ireland. But... Redheads are can't... cute. <laughs> you know, I was born with red hair. Where is it? Yeah, I grew out of it and went from red to platinum blonde. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not. Platinum blonde's <laughs> the easiest thing to dye. <sighs> yeah, anyway, we're gonna be doing Leprechaun here. I've seen this before. I have seen as much as I have told you, and then I stopped. <laughs> so so I don't actually know what happened. So this is gonna be a first time watch and reaction for my roommate here. And uh, once it's done, we're gonna do a nice little review. So talk about it, you know, mm -hmm. what we usually do. Standard operating procedure, bring on the little vicious thing. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. Leprechaun. Oh yeah, that's the what? other thing I remembered what? about him. He's not little. It's like four foot something. He's still little. You'll see. And not as little as everybody makes leprechauns out to be. Oh no, he's not like yay big. Oh no, I'm used to like yay big. Maybe. I guess we'll see. Once we get it started. That's what I expect the Keebler elf size is, about here. Coming, the horror movie, Ke the Keebler elves, attack. I mean, it could happen. Probably already has happened in some low budget movie <laughs> I just haven't seen. Anyway! Like, I firmly believe there's a Smurf horror movie out there, so why not? Why not? So anyway, let's get to it then. To the thing. Leprechaun. There he is! He's a little leprechaun! It's not a goal. Chai is they fun. Who steals we go? Won't live through the night. And he rhymes. He's a leprechaun. Ah, death. Let's have some liquid death to get through this. <laughs> Murder your yeah. thirst. Or not sponsor. Nobody sponsors this shit. Warwick Davis in. In what? Ah, leprechaun. Of course, it's Jameson. Well, it's Irish. Yep. You wouldn't drink an American whiskey on that. Jameson! Tomorrow, we'll look in that mansion. Will you tell me what's going on here, Daniel O'Grady? <laughs> what's going on here is we're rich. Why are we rich? Why are we the witch? Why are we rich? For Gile. Must be Italian. We person, a leprechaun. I caught him. We had a little lamb. I can't breathe. Please, 
open the suitcase. Yes, open the suitcase. I'm gonna suffocate. Well, you're gonna die first. <laughs> Do you like the gold buckles on me shoes? Oops. I smell some tea brewing. Tea. Where did you hide it, Dan? Did you hide it somewhere near the house? Your wife makes a fine pot of tea, Danny me boy. Where did you get that? Four leaf clover. Put it away! I got the gold. Fair and square. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Looking for something? What did you do? I just got a little kink in my neck. I should have killed you when I caught you in Ireland. Yeah, probably. The bullets won't stop me forever. I'll keep coming back. I'm going to put you in this conveniently placed crate. Uh -huh. That'll do. I won't hold him now. Power of the clover will keep you in there forever. Mmm. Clover has power over him. No. Not gasoline. You can't burn me. I won't let you. Oh. Daddy! What's wrong? Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Did the match go out then? But he's still trapped. Well, that's the last of scene of that Leprechaun. No, I need a new one. Ten years later. Let me guess, his house is going to get bought. What? You're making some guesses? Mm -hmm. What do you think's gonna happen now? The house is gonna get bought and they're gonna open the crate like dipshits. Maybe. Where even are they? Some place with hills. Yeah, I'm still depressed. I mean, come on, here I am in New Mexico. Oh, there you go. New Mexico, they told you. First of all, it's not New Mexico. It's North Dakota. It matters, all I care about is it's not North Dakota. LA. Makes more sense, New Mexico would be more desert -y. Yeah, it would be. I was like, wait, really? That's the same house. Is it? Yeah. Gee, you're right. Is that Jennifer Aniston? Yep. Huh. Lots of actors get their starts in horror movies. Like two, three years later, she's in friends. Book by its cover, honey. There's no swimming pool, there's no shopping mall, there's no cable. It's Miserable. Oh, God. Pretty spider. That would not be in North Dakota, for the record. <laughs> Pretty boy. Mm. Or girl. Mm. Yeah, just so you know, I never remember if there's a random spider in movies. I know. So. I don't think you're that sadistic that you wouldn't warn me. Making too big a deal out of this, honey. No, it's just... this is great. You really think money's all you need to get by in this life? It helps. I'll go with that theory. <gasps> Dad, do you see that spider? Oh, pretty. It's huge. They could kill us. No, okay, that I'm one cannot. Turn around, and I'm walking out of this basement, wrapped to sleep in a tent. City girl. Okay, if the choice is spider filled house okay. Okay. or tent. I'm taking the tent too. <sighs> and I hate sleeping in tents. Hunky boy. That's who. Ain't he a hunky boy? It's like a gourd man would love him. Still got that 80s hair though. A leprechaun. See, it's funny the way girls are always afraid of spiders and stuff. <laughs> yeah, funny. Whoa. Spiders are okay. very wicked, evil little Did things. Wow. They don't think that of you. It's the 90s. Women are treated equal. <laughs> yeah! Women are treated equal now. In the 90s. I don't know many guys are You like to think so. But that's not a thing. No, exactly. Come on, just put the bags back, okay? No mistake. It's Hunky Boy. Look at that shirt. You gotta put an eye out. Like magic, you know? Like, like, um... Like acid? And, and no more lies, okay? Uh, I'm afraid that our liability insurance forbids anyone but us handling the tools and equipment. But thanks for the offer. He's the business now. Someday he'll own the whole town. <laughs> Boy, I can go for a beer right now. I bet you yeah. could. Going back down? Why? Gonna offer the spider a drink of tea? 
It's an odd thing to offer a spider. Nathan? She's been taking a nap for 10 years. What would you do if you were stuck in a crate? Well, I think a leprechaun can regenerate. I'd take a fingernail and I'd slowly slice the wood over time. Um, and he's got nothing but time there. Uh, I'm gonna do it on the side. Hey, let's see what he's got in this thing. Yeah. Give me a crowbar. I'll bust it open myself. Yeah. I asked you to hold that ladder steady. Now look what happened. He's just feeling blue. <laughs> I can't blame you, bro. I don't either. There are people about. I could be free. Hello? I wonder what you are. He is a leprechaun. He's a little leprechaun. And he's come to kill you, even though you're not the one that took his gold. Please pull me out. Please. How did you get in there? Please. Please. Uh-oh. I'm back. You got a light for an old leprechaun's pipe? Was a cricket. He's hungry. Mm -hmm. I'm starved. I haven't eaten in ten years. Have you seen a crock of gold lying around? You only got away because me powers are weak. Mm -hmm. I need me gold. I need me gold. So then, where's your pot of gold? That's what he said he wanted. He said he wanted his pot of gold. All right. Okay. Just in case. I have a weak I stick. Go with you. That'll help. Mm -hmm. I don't think that stick's gonna be big enough. It's not a shillelagh. What you need is a uh, boomstick. Or a flamethrower. Those tend to work well. Yep. That'll take the house with it, though. That would be something to do. I have a kid. Yeah, make the kid a leprechaun. Or like that some parents do make the kids Chucky and Tiffany. I mean, that's another option, too. That's a fun one. I love seeing that at cons. But, I mean, Leprechaun. Do you think maybe a light would be prudent? <laughs> you could totally a rat. Yeah, don't hurt the poor little thing. He's probably friends with the spider. Uh, he was bigger than that. All right, all right. I think we've solved this mystery now. Can we just get out of here? Hey, it's a rainbow. up in the sky. No, uh, we gotta go, go, go see what's at the end. There's always a pot of gold. Oh. He's so easily sidetracked. I'm gonna go chase rainbows. You and I go paint. Yeah, let's stay um, here together, alone. Right? You can't find the end of the rainbow! Can't you? Interesting. Oh. It does sort of look like where it is. Hey, look, it's going away. I need to trust the old mill. If you do. It's all a little it bit of shine. Look at that. Oh, brat. Hmm. They found the coins. I told you. Uh oh. The gold. We found this gold. Finders keepers. I don't want to tell if it's real. You just bite on it. I seen it in a movie. Oh my god. I swallowed that gold coin. Oops, he swallowed the gold coin. I have a feeling I know how he's gonna get it back yeah, out. How? No, gonna throw up? Okay? Gonna crap it out? Perfect place to hide. The old well beside the house. We can get you an operation. Or what? To make you smart. <laughs> we can get you an operation to make you smart. They make fun of me? Not in front of you. Only behind your back. Come on, let's go to the well. Yeah, we see it. Oh, poor Ronzi. Come on. It's a shame because he's probably going to get gutted later, too. He may not. Maybe it'll come out another way. This is a horror film. What kind of Disney shit are you spewing? Maybe there's a happy ending. Uh, wait, here, start in the corners. Nice, even strokes. Wow. That's it. Yeah, yeah, regular Picasso. 
She knows how to stroke it. Put me out of business. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Those are interesting shorts. 80s, early 90s. Tights. Yeah. Fucking pantyhose. Oh, look at that leg. Nathan, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> he ain't doing that to you. And you let me? Okay, I know what it feels like when a man caresses my leg. You do? Look, we gotta get. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. That's a great way to get bit. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Let me stick my arm in this hole. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Ooh. I can't bit me. That's not a cat bite. That's a leprechaun bite. Three guys that paint. Nice name. Ah, uh, the 90s when you can still ride in the bed of a truck legally. You can do anything legally, as long as nobody sees you. The leprechaun was under the truck. Oh. Come on, come on! I'll take care of it. He's a professional. Sweet. Fixed it. Leprechaun probably did something. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You got a little tricycle! This is solid gold. Could be worth five hundred dollars. Can I keep this overnight and study it? Oh, I'll put it in my safe. I'll write up a receipt. You ever reckon that that coin might have come from a leprechaun? Hmm. You better get to the restaurant. They're gonna be pissed we're gone so long. You got a piece of his gold. He wants it. Well, to be fair, he doesn't know it's stolen. It's really not fair for the leprechaun to take it out on people that are unaware of the situation. You're saying this leprechaun in a horror movie is not a nice person? Well, he bit the girl's dad, and he had nothing to do with it, so yeah. <laughs> nom nom nom. It's not nice to steal gold coins from a leprechaun. How is he supposed to know? I'll be back. Well, to him, anyone with one of his pieces of gold is a thief. Oh, no! Pogo stick! No! He played Pogo on his lap. Teach you to steal me gold. Pogo sticks to death. Can't have dirty shoes now, can we? <laughs> Can't have any dirty shoes. Nice and shiny. One gold coin. Ninety-nine to go. Gonna upgrade my wheels. Look on the bright side, Tori. The worst is over. The worst is over. Foolish mortal. Look at a leprechaun in a little car. And it's like a bunch of the toys, too. What are you going to do about a popo? What is he doing wrong? Mintak is not a licensed vehicle. Let's see how this traffic stop goes. Nice shiny shoes. Say, aren't we a little young to be out this late? No, I'm 600 years old. <laughs> Ooh. I'll just save that for later. <laughs> Stop the wrong me? car that night. I really feel like you're just a foul tempered little creature. Good makeup, though. You think it's a mask or actual prosthetics? Oh, there's prosthetics there. There's too much facial um, work going on for that just to be a full-on mask. No. You'd be surprised at what they can do with a latex mask. I mean, it's a latex prosthetic. There's a lot of it, but it's a type where you can see his expressions. Like uh, Freddy Krueger. Like, he had a lot of latex on. I'd imagine it's the same thing. Freddy's a little different. There's just a lot built up on his face that I don't think it's his actual face. I feel like it's a mask that's adhered to his mouth. So you wanna play hide and seek, huh? Maybe his eyes. I mean, it looks great, either way. Think you gonna get away? No. No? Why not? Horror movie. Horror movie. Douchey cop. Douchey cop. He had no reason to pull that car over. 
It's his little hat. Playing hide and seek. Why did you throw your fucking weapon? Not the smartest of cops. Uh, he's right there. Look, he's safe. No, he's not. You're still in the woods. That's their territory. Don't you know? Leprechauns are like Keebler elves. They live in trees. I do wonder how they interact with, like, druids and naiads and stuff. Hmm. Crack. That's what you'd do. What? That was fun. Just killed somebody. I just killed somebody. Boop. Head. You should have some meat, Wolf. I got plenty, really. Oh, no. He's got plenty of meat for you. Do you know what that is? That's cut up dead cow. And it's delicious. Hey, and I don't kill living things. You eat plants, they're living. Yeah. Cut up dead cow. That's what your shoe is, you know? I can give me my shoe. Try to set a mature example. Mature. Mature. I'm mature. Sometimes. Sometimes you're a 12 year old. Those are fun nights. <laughs> Lucky clovers. <laughs> Who's a handsome leprechaun? Who's a handsome leprechaun? He's got all the shoes. Where's the shoe maker, Betty? Gotta shine them up real nice. Uh oh. I think something got in here. Clean no up all shit, the shoes. That leprechaun, he tried to shine my shoes, and he said he was a shoemaker. You know how to work one of these, right? Okay. She knows how to work a shaft of wood. Ring, What's ring. Oh. Look what I found. Do you think you could kill a leprechaun? Cut off its head. Now me? Give me a 357 Magnum. You couldn't even shoot a 357 Magnum. Blam! Brains and guts and oozing cruddy stuff dripping all down its head. They ain't ringing the That's coming from the kitchen. Stay here. I'm gonna check it out. He's gonna check out the suspicious noise. He'll be right back. He didn't say it though. Say it! Say it! Say it! Say the thing! Please say the thing. They don't always have to say the thing. Oh, I like when they say the thing. Maybe later in the movie. Mm. Oh, 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 my leg! Ow. Gotta make you suck tea up. I got you in a bear trap. You do like a stupid sub. Smack that bitch. He's a tiny little guy. You should be able to kick him and field goal him. Yeah, but he's got a bear trap in his leg. Alex, get the shotgun! Yeah, get the boomstick. Got him. Not enough. No! Quit using your ammo! Stop using ammo! Fucker! Nathan, that was no fucking bear. That was no fucking bear. You are right. I'm just saying, I am grateful that if this situation would ever happen to the two of us, you are not that stupid. No. Shit! The line's dead. The line is dead. No way. I shot it. I put six rounds into that thing. He shot it six times. What's wrong with the truck? You're in a horror movie. That's what's wrong with the truck. Be careful. Maybe you should move a little faster. Adult, get out with the child. The child's more adult than some of the adults. I don't care, it's still a child. Hurry. Still bigger than the leprechaun. Don't care. He'll be all right. <laughs> uh -oh. Punch him. Ooh, fight. <laughs> Remember when cars had those? Mine still does. Yours is from 96. Yes, correct. What the heck is he doing in there? Souped his car up pretty good. <laughs> Ramming speed! 
No fucking way that would have done that, but okay, we'll allow it. It's a movie. Magic. Yeah. Ooh, off with the hand. Oh, well, it's an idle hand. Why did he bleed green when he got shot, but red now? Because reasons. Boy, that leprechaun sure is mean. It is not a leprechaun, damn it! Well, what about the gold in the old rusty car? Oh. Just tell me about the gold. Okay, in the water bucket, right? Right, just pull it up. <laughs> well, that was a quick recap. Okay. Shoot. Why is it glowing? Because it's a cool light effect. Uh, what else don't glow like that? The water is clearly radioactive. Is that me gold? This is what you're looking for, right? Ah. Sounds like me gold. <laughs> it's the gold. Okay, so we got what he wanted. Now we can get everybody to the hospital and uh, call for help. It's over. Yes, it's over. It's all over. It's not over till there's credits. 98. 99. Uh oh. I'm missing one. They've got me coin. How dare they? No one takes a leprechaun's gold! Wow! Where are my leprechauns? Quick, look it now, kids! <laughs> he reminds me of Robert Carlyle's portrayal of Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> I want me gold, dearie! Mm -hmm. All magic comes with a price. It's not gonna be in the one yet, I can stick it. He wants his gold! Oh, I'm a junk! Oh, the poor little clover has to come back into play. Oh, oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho! He ain't no Sandy Claws. We got the sucker! That's not enough. Cut off the head! Burn it. Cut off the head, rip out the heart, and then burn it. You think it's dead? No, I don't. Poke it with a stick. Yeah, he's dead. No, he's not. Ah! Not a chance, me lad. <laughs> <laughs> nice of her. They see me rolling. They hate in. <laughs> ah! Got him again. Having problems? Do you need a hand? <laughs> they stole that from Freddy. They did. I think I know what he wants. He's got the last gold coin in his stomach! Ozzy, come on, you can't go out there! Oh, old man Brady's is in a rest home. He had a stroke about, what, ten years ago? Mmm, he's still, still alive. There. Ah, oh, ah. Look, dirty shoes. You have to clean them. <laughs> shiny, shiny. I have two guys on each side of each other and just keep throwing them back and forth. Leprechaun's got one hell of an obsessive compulsion. He's rolling again! Uh, of course. This is a serious film. Very serious. I want you to know that. I am serious face. This is serious. Mm. No, no laughing matter. No, none of that. Where does he get his roller skates? The roller skate store. He's hard at work. Dutch angle. Oh, that's him. That's the Mr. Leprechaun. Brady. You think it is? It's out. How do we stop it? One way to kill a leprechaun. But I'm not going to tell you. I'll never tell you. Oh my god, it was a leprechaun all along. Duh. Put his hat back on. He's rolling again. So he's got a set of wheels. Turn, stop, and kick him backwards, bugaboo. Speed up the frame rate, it's like he's going fast. Well, you can go pretty fast. Though. Ah! There's a Brady. He came back for me. I knew he would. How could we kill it? A four leaf clover. Freshly plucked from the clover patch. Gotta put it on his body. Then you can kill him. 
Bye bye, Grady. I'm only alive just long enough to give you this information. Cause that's the purpose I serve. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's rolling. He's just rolling along. Oh, that clover pen. Yeah, this thing is all green. Finding a four-leaf clover does take some time, though. Think she's gonna find one? Yeah. Just keep the camera on her ass for me, please. Thank you. I mean, I can't help but not look at those shorts. They really are something. Oh my god, a cop! Yeah, the cop will save you! Oh, wait. I don't think he can help you. Yeah, look at that! Stuck him in the eye. Ooh, what are we ripping out? Ew. He got an eyeball! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Maybe he wants a snack. Ah, oh, I see. Yep. He needs a new eye. Ha! Tori! Boom, bitch! There's gotta be a four-leaf clover on the patch up there. He said there was. We're never gonna find a four-leaf clover in here. Not afraid. You get that leprechaun. Come on, get that leprechaun. Baby. You don't know how? He's gonna get him. Yeah. You found one! I told you! It's the magic of our leaf clover! Yes. They're saved! I've got the last gold coin! I swallowed it! It's in my stomach! Then it's your belly I want! Clover, use the Close your leg! Ow! 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 Got your leg! Ooh. Oh, Cut you. Oh, I'll save you. One minute. I'll save you. Hang on. Fuck you, Lucky Charms. Oh. Fuck you, Lucky Charms. Boomstick right up to his temple. Oh, oh. Well, maybe they don't have to. He's getting a little. No. I'm melting. I'm melting. Oh, what a world. Found the well. They're safe. He's dead. I'm just saying. I did a smart thing. Boomstick. I want the door out. Ah, we're gonna burn a bitch. Boom. Green. Like how that dad just left after after his bite and just never came back into this movie. Yeah, they could have called dad. Say, Dad, I need your help. They just... couldn't call anybody. They tried calling the police and then everything done. Uh, but no, police are here now. Yeah, thank goodness. They saw the giant fucking mushroom cloud and then they show up. They're here to save the day. I'll not rest till I have me gold. How is that? Plus this well that we soul shall dwell breaks me spare. Oh. And credits. All right, so that was Leprechaun, the classic early 90s horror slash comedy movie about a little leprechaun who just wants his gold back. What are our thoughts? Uh, great breakout role for Jennifer Aniston. She was oh, good. God, she did lovely in mm -hmm. that, and yeah, she does have a nice ass. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, with those shorts, you can't help but have your eyes they just also attract right fit her towards very it, well. you know? And you know they did that on purpose, because this wasn't a movie that had any titties in it. I know. No titties. So they had to have something to give it a little sex appeal. Yeah. Ass. And they weren't even short shorts, so it's a cosplay that could be done and probably worn to a school, even. I mean, how would you get shorts like that, though? Those exact shorts. Um, Etsy? Who's making those shorts? I want to know. Uh, if you can find the fabric, making the shorts wouldn't be that hard. You can just take a pair of shorts and alter them. It's not that difficult. I know, but who would know what you're doing and what you're cosplaying, though? F fans of Leprechaun? You'd have to find that one fan who's gonna go, Oh my god, you're doing that! Which sometimes does happen. It does happen. It's very rare, though. But once you see that person recognize you, it's hey, worth it. Hey, I want to do a gator bait cosplay. How many people are gonna know what that is? Joe would know what that is. Darcy would know what that is. Okay, they'd also know a Leprechaun cosplay when they see him, too, I'll bet. All right, well, next time they're near here, you can cosplay gator bait. I have to find the shit for that first. You know how much I've been struggling finding that vest? Well, it'd be a struggle to find those fucking shorts. I'll tell you that. It's a plain denim vest. It's just I gotta find the right fit. Yeah. And it's hard. 
Because hmm. I won't pay $50 for it. Well, I suppose you have your price. I'm poor. Anyway, though. Uh, unique concept. I like the idea of bringing in a mythological creature that has rules and things it can't do and things it can do. He's got some rules set up. He's a magical little fellow. He's got oh, nice he charisma because of Warwick Davis and his good performance. That's why these brought him back for like six sequels of this damn thing. He eventually goes to space. Of course he does. And after space, he goes to the hood. Of course he does. And then he goes back to the hood. <laughs> why not? Actually, that I think In the Hood is my favorite of the series within space. I do not think the Leprechaun I saw last time was the original. I think uh, with Leprechaun Origins, they recast it with like Hornswoggle from like wrestling uh, and like some weird prequel. I don't know. I didn't catch it, but I've seen all the originals. No, the tree that I saw was a different tree and it was his home and he wanted to keep the girl. That might have been the beginning of In Space. I don't know. Uh, I think that's the beginning of Leprechaun Into Space. I don't know. Wait, what is what is the title of that one? Leprechaun, Leprechaun 2, Leprechaun 3, Leprechaun 4, In Space. Then Leprechaun In the Hood, then Leprechaun Back to the Hood, and then Leprechaun Origins. It might have actually been Leprechaun 3. That sounds familiar. Yeah. So Warwick Davis was in six movies, and then Origins is when they had Horn Swaggle, because that's WWE Studios. How can you get rid of Warwick Davis? He's great! Look at him! Look at him! Look at him. I do like the look of him, too. It gives it a, a creepy personality, because Leprechaun are essentially fey, which means they wouldn't have been nice. And everybody that's saying, oh, they're just tiny little cute men. With cereal. With cereal. Uh, <laughs> no, that's foolish and stupid, and you never ever fuck with the fey. They're vicious. No, not in the stories. You're vicious right. creatures. Um, I like that played true to that effectively. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting how his weakness was that which brings luck, which is supposed to be how you find leprechauns to steal their gold. Well, the gold's at the end of the rainbow. They found it at the end of the rainbow in this one. They did. Mm -hmm. For once. And for the clovers, a nice way of, you know, having some part of like the Irish legend or the kind of myth where like, hmm, what can we use to defeat him? How about a four-leaf clover? Soul! They're supposed to bring you good luck, so it brought makes sense. them good luck. Um, I don't like that they had a man-child. Like, I get that you have a kid that's sassy and smarter than the adult, but I don't like that they effectively had a man-child. Like, you might as he well wasn't, just made him a teenager. He wasn't like super man-child. He's just not the smartest of guys. When sometimes there are people that are kind of just like that. He's a good I mean, he's yeah. good hearted. He definitely is. Mm -hmm. and he loves that kid. But at the same time, I feel like that's not an okay representation. Like, I wouldn't want my kid seeing that and thinking they could talk to an adult like that. You know? I don't think it's appropriate. Maybe that's just the upbringing coming back out of my ears. I suppose, but even though kids, especially if they get to middle age, or middle age, I mean middle school, and he was age middle school kids, age. They, they're going to say whatever the fuck they want until they learn how to mature and be an adult, so yeah. I was never that asshole. I was an asshole before middle school. I was just, like, what was it? Ninth grade? I was... Ninth? That's after middle school? No. No, fuck. Nine years old. <laughs> there was a nine there. That was like third grade. I was a little shit in class, and then after that, I kind of like mellowed out. Uh, but yeah, that's when I, I was, that's when I acted out. By middle school, I'm like, ugh, I fucking hate you all. Leave me alone. See, in third grade, <laughs> I was spending my first year living with my mom, and my dad was going through some stuff. He actually went to prison that year, so it was a uh, less me acting out and more me trying to find my footing. And I had a teacher that didn't understand that. Yeah. I also had ADHD kicking up more then, because that's when homework started. All kids have ADHD. That's not true. Practically, you would think nowadays. No, I know children that don't have it. You don't have it. I think they said I had it when I was younger. I don't know. I don't remember a lot when I was younger. I remember the movies and TV shows I watched. But my regular life, nah. It was spent alone watching movies and TV. You don't generally grow out of ADHD. And you are not an ADHD adult. 
What am I? Normal. I know. Oh! It's hard for you. Yeah! You are normal ah! intelligence and processing. You're weird and everything else. Don't worry. <laughs> Call me normal. Oh, sweetheart. Uh, you... Sometimes that's not a bad thing. You have never seen me struggle with this oh. shit. Okay? She called me normal. Which is worse, normal or pastel goth? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> For the record, he's not a pastel goth. But he has gotten upset over that in the past. I'm so a dark, evil, blood-sucking <laughs> fiend. Who doesn't have ADHD? That means you can process like a normal human and your plans might actually work. I might have had it when I was younger until my brain fully developed. I don't know. You know me as I am now. As I am then. I can't remember hardly. People do change. They don't usually grow out of that though. Anyway. Anyway. I like this beginning of a franchise. Yeah, not a bad franchise to start off with. This was probably one of the 90s horror franchises. It's not high quality, I will say. There are a lot of probably straight-to-video releases on this one, but it's still well-known, and Warwick Davis brings his charm pretty much to all the movies, so it's mm -hmm. still got its fan favorites here and What supporters. does surprise me is that they play this at Halloween. What's, they play anything horror at Halloween. Well, that's stupid, though. This is very clearly something more geared towards Irish holidays. Yeah, this should be played around when we're doing this video and releasing it for St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day or any other Gaelic or Druidic <laughs> holiday would suit it, I think. But I don't think this is a Halloween movie, in my opinion. Especially not when she's up there during the summer. Literally says, during the summer months. Yeah. It's not fitting for it to be a Halloween movie. All in all, though, I like the cast. I like the main dude. I like that uh, only, what, three people die? Yeah, there was the officer. There was the uh, wife. And wife. There was Grady. Himself. And the guy with who was appraising the coin who got pogo sticked. Oh, that's right, four. That, too. I almost forgot about the pogo stick death. That was a very unique death that you do not see. <laughs> which... Yeah, that, that one's the award for most creative kill in this I movie. I mean, I also feel like they went into a garage sale and they're like, what's some weird ass shit that we could kill somebody with that hasn't been done but Pogo Stick? No, so remember. Who's gonna guess remember death I said, by Pogo this Stick? This is a serious movie. So serious. <laughs> this is so serious. He always got a set of wheels, too, that little leprechaun. Well, he's got short little legs. He gotta move somehow. He does have some short little legs. You see him running in them little legs. It's funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Overall, fun movie. Um, I like it. Cool. Yeah, this is always one to watch, like, in, if you want to put something on, like, in the background. And yeah. And just not focus on too much. And it's pretty lighthearted and when it comes to, like, horror fare. It's not too major. It is. Um, it didn't gross you out too much, so, you know, it's not that bad. No. It had one little pretty spider, though, and you got a... Mm. I'm always going to get all of you. I don't like them. Why? Well, well, they just want to be your friend. No, they don't. They, they just want to eat stuff no. and live in their own little they world. Just they wanna, don't give a shit about they me. They want to hug you with all their legs. No. Yes. No, they, they don't. They want to cuddle. Okay. Pretty little spider. Got other things to cuddle. Uh, somebody pay us $10,000 so I can show arachnophobia again. Just, I just want to... You know, something tells me it's not going to happen. Come on! It's there in the Patreon. Because you know, when something doesn't go your way, shouting, Come on! Especially to me! It helps. Is going to get you somewhere. That is the exact opposite of helping. That is actually one of the trigger words that will literally get me to shut down immediately. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people watching this who have money to blow if they're rich. Come on, please help me out here. I want to see her react to arachnophobia, but she won't do it if she don't get paid. She has a standard on that. I do, and he seems to not want to have his right arm anymore. Okay, well, barring that highly unlikelihood of happening, get us up to 100,000 subscribers. Because at that point she's agreed, I get to show her eight-legged freaks. Ah! And that's going to be so much fun. He's going to lose his right arm for that one, too. Right now, as of this filming, we're only at, like, 1.8% of that goal. 
And see, that's how I know you aren't ADHD. You can do that shit in your fucking head. It's not that hard, Matt. Oh, it makes my brain hurt. It's by a factor of uh, 10 in the hundreds and the hundred and the 10. You just gotta move a decimal point over. It's easy when you just have to move the decimal point. It's when you have to get into fraction territory, so it's like, oh fuck, I gotta calculate this shit now. Uh, so that's fast for me. 100,000 subscribers? We currently have about 1,800. You just move the decimal point over. 1.8%. It's okay, I'm the brains. I don't math, I'm the I'm the brains person. of this operation. Hey, hey, hey. We're not the only brains here, thank you. My feats just lie more in English and language arts. Thank you. I read. It makes my speaking English good. Mm-hmm. I didn't say you didn't. I said that's my strong suit. Yeah, I can be strong there too. I can read a th thesaurus. I can read that dinosaur book. Because it's a thesaurus. It's got thesaurus. It's a dinosaur book. <laughs> I'm smart. This is my roommate, kids. Ah! Trade him for absolutely nothing. I'm a serious movie reviewer here, okay? And we watch serious movies like Leprechaun. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> I am what I am. And you are perfect exactly as that. Yes, thank you, Mr. Rogers. He says I'm perfect just the way I am, too. Uh huh. Yeah. He was right. Indeed. Anyway, good folks. Anyway. Thanks for playing along. Yes, thank you. We have a Patreon if you want to give us money. I always like money. Money's nice. We have a regular YouTube channel, obviously, which you can subscribe to. That's always cool. If you want. If you want. We don't force anybody, obviously. Do you want to comment weird shit in our channel and videos? Go right ahead. They're always amusing. If you want to leave nasty comments, go right ahead. I find those amusing, too. If you want to give us praise, go right ahead. I like those comments. I like all comments. Yeah, they keep us entertained. They do. Especially since the, the, by the time this premieres, I will not be home, so we're going to be looking for extra sources of entertainment. That's right. We're doing all these at once in January, and while you're away for a few months doing your Ren Faire, mm -hmm. uh, you'll be back in like April or so. Yeah, I'm sorry I'd take you with me, but you hate Florida because it's hot and sandy. I don't hate Florida. It's just got swamp air. And it's got... Sweetie, I don't ask Floridians. you to go outside and do stuff in the summertime because you look like Elphaba at the end of fucking Wizard of Oz where she's melting and you're complaining and grouchy and dead. So I'm a vampire. That's what happens to us in this pot. Why, so. why would I take you to Florida other than Disney, which has lots of air conditioning? I'd rather go to Universal Studios at the time of the truth. Mm. Trust me, you'd rather do both. Well, I'd do both, but... I was like a somewhere. The Mummy Ride kicks ass! The Mummy Ride does kick ass. But Disney has its perks, too. You need to trust me on that. All right, I'll trust you on that. Anyway, what am I talking about? Leprechaun! Channel! Subscribe! Comment! Like! All the usual shit people in these videos say to their... subscribers or non. Mm -hmm. They're smart. They know what they're doing. They're watching us. You've heard this before. You have. You know what we're about. We appreciate you. We we love you. If, we do. With what little love we have in our black hearts. Um, some of us. <laughs> we have more videos coming, so <laughs> don't worry. Uh, this is a special holiday video, but every Tuesday we have a new one. And uh, I th think you'll like what's coming next. Yeah, just keep petting me. <laughs> Meanwhile, before this poor man completely crumbles, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Yes, indeed. Until then, stay spooky. Bye.